it is peak week number five of the fall and peak week number 12 of my rookie season as a pro. This will be my 12th pro show in one year since turning pro. Um, the show is going to be really fun. It's in Sacramento, my hometown. And my whole family is going to be there, aka my dad, mom, brother, his wife, and my husband cheering me on. There are a couple local friends or people who I've made friends with that are going to come out and come cheer for me. And um, it's my 12th pro show. 12 is my lucky number. So that's another good thing. And it is one year since I won overall at the exact same show as an NPC competitor. And that was the overall win that I got right before I won my pro card at Ben Weeder two weeks later. So it's kind of a full circle moment. Hopefully this is the last show I need to do to qualify for the Olympia, whether that's on points or if I'm so lucky to get a first place, we shall see. So Monday, peak week, Let's get it, fam. Hey, we are two days out from my 12th pro show, SAC Spectrum Fitness Productions Sacramento Championships. Did this show last year, probably already said that to you, but I'm excited to be there because I'm gonna have a whole crew, a whole gang of my people coming out to support me mom, dad, brother, sister, husband, bestie, best coworker, um, friend that I made back at my first NPC show back in seven years. Alyssa might be coming down from SF. Um, uh, other bodybuilding friend, Carrie. Um, just, you know, a bunch of people coming to support and cheer me on. So I feel like we're going to have a good crowd, lots of good energy. So I'm super pumped. This is actually Thursday, but it's actually my Friday because I am a teacher and tomorrow is a Veterans Day. So we do have that off from work. So happy Friday to me. And tomorrow I'm gonna get my extensions moved up here in town. I wasn't able to go see my bestie Carmen. So we found a quick little replacement in town here who's gonna help me move those up. Also last minute ordered some clip-ins from Amazon because I noticed my hair is seeming to be shorter than it was when I first got my extensions. Probably just, you know, getting multiple trims over the lifespan of this hair. I have had it for a year in February. So I'm almost due for like a new set of extensions. So well, hopefully those will come tonight. Mom's going to address my new suit bottoms because I have a new suit, red suit to reveal at the sack show. So also V's gonna be there doing my makeup. So I'm really excited for what the overall look is going to be. Fresh hair, fresh suit, fresh makeup, and it's gonna be a good weekend. Peace. be 
above 30. And then there are two other girls competing this weekend who are in second and in fourth. And then a girl who's in fifth right now for points because I'm pulling down third. So they are all at the Romania Muscle Fest Pro and they'll all be competing and we shall see who ends up where. I don't think that any of the three of them will get first. There is a girl who's going to be there who just came off of a first at a show like three weeks ago and she's stunning, gorgeous, phenomenal. Unless she comes in completely off, I see her taking the show. So that being said, it is a tier three show and these other girls, Jessica, Stein, Esther, there's lots of points up for grabs. So we'll see where everybody falls. I have been like already plotting out everything. Of course, I don't want to have to do another show. I would like to have, you know, five weeks until the Olympia to just be on my A game and be prepping for that instead of worrying about peaking another time, worrying about traveling, worrying about taking off more days of work and stuff like that. So um, I'm feeling positive about this show. My friends and family are going to be there, and it's lucky number 12, so. That's true. Or, or sorry, 12. Say 12. Show this year. 12th Pro Show. 12th Pro Show. 12th Pro Show. Yep. So, and um, I just posted on my story. I won this show in 2014, and I won this show last year. Both were NPC overalls, of course. And this is my first time doing it as a pro. So, We'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. Good morning! It is show day here in Sacramento at the Sacramento Championships and I'm just chilling in bed. I had breakfast already, some coffee, got the digestion going, meal number one down the hatch and it is about 8 o'clock and I'm probably going to start to do my hair around 8.30 or so. It looks crazy right now. And Eric's gone at the gym. And around 10.30, I'll be getting my third and hopefully fourth coat of tan. Um, I am using the tanning company, Liquid Sunrays. And we do need to be a little bit darker here. So hopefully we get about two more coats. I'm really liking how even everything is though. Um, their sprayers are really good. Their people tanning are really good. They're from the company Tan Masters. And I asked for two coats last night and they were like, yeah, sure, no problem. They were super sweet about it. No, like pushback on that. Cause sometimes they're like, oh no, you don't want to tonight. And I'm like, oh yes I do. So they were super sweet about it and um, getting my makeup done by V at 11 and then we'll head to the venue after that. I go on at two o'clock, so we will catch you probably before makeup or after makeup, so peace.
Howdy, y'all. This is the after. I just got my makeup done with V, the makeup artist, and she slays once again. We did a little bit different this time. She actually did a darker color on the outside. Um, dang it, I put it in my bag. So I have Ferrari red on the inside, and what did I say it was? Vendetta. Vendetta is on the Ooh, outside, so confidence. it's a little more deep and a little more like glamour, moody. Shiny. And then she actually used a red brown on my waterline to like bring out the green in my eyes a touch more. And then just um, maybe a little bit more bronzy in the crease, but overall it's a very similar look and I'm so happy with it. She knows how to beat my face like a pro. <laughs> <laughs> After I said that to Eric one time, he was like, what? That sounds so bad, so negative. And I'm like, no, it's a good thing. You want your makeup artist to beat your face. <laughs> Trust me. So now we're headed to the venue. It's at the Crest Theater. Normally it's been at um, a hotel venue, so it'll be quite the change up and hopefully nice to have it at a theater instead. Hopefully there's good stage lighting. And need to take out this bonnet and see what the hair is looking like underneath and comb it out. So I will see you at the venue.
hell on earth? Chantel and Lana switch, 8.5 switch, 8.5 switch. This is Gretchen, she's my bestie. She came to watch and cheer me on. And we just got lost, we're walking in an alley. We're trying to find our parking garage so that we can go get some food. And 
Should we just go? Yeah, let's just go this way. We're gonna go this way and see if we can find our car. Um, you think it's this way? Oh my gosh. Okay, now we're gonna go this way. So, yeah, if we get stolen, it was in this alley, okay? Um, but we just finished finals. Yes, up this way. Right? Yeah, probably. This is the parking garage, yes? Okay, awesome, thank you. Oh my gosh. You got in, you got in? Okay, we're going to level four. Level up, level up. But uh, finished, finished finals, and we ended up taking second place. So that's two more points to the Olympia. So now I'm at 28. No, what am I at? I'm on four. Okay, four. Um, I think I am at 28 points. Jody got three points. She's at 33. So right now I would be in second, but if Stein doesn't place at all tomorrow, that'd be great for me. <laughs> oh shoot, one more. <laughs> and if Esther doesn't place, or if either of them just freaking get a one be qualified, that'd be phenomenal. So we'll wait and see what happens. But for now, we go eat a burger and fries. <laughs> Peace. Hello, checking in with all of you. It is the Monday after show, the Sacramento Championships. And as you know or saw, I took home fourth place, which was two more points to the Olympia. I am still holding third place and maintaining that spot to get to the Olympia. But this is the last qualifying weekend. So the girls who are in Europe that are trailing right behind me have an opportunity to compete in Denmark and I have an opportunity to compete in either Florida, in Fort Lauderdale, or Honolulu, Hawaii. So I am headed to Hawaii to put in my last effort to hold my position and finish top three in points and make it to Olympia, what would be four weeks after this show. I'd have four weeks to prepare and get ready and just bring the best that I possibly could bring. But I have been putting in over 365 days of effort <laughs> because it was one year ago this month that I earned my pro card and started doing pro shows last December and made my pro debut at Battle of Texas where I got fifth place and ignited all of this passion and excitement to break into the pro league and to show up and make a name for myself and get noticed and see all these different head judges that I've seen like Becky and Sandy and Joe and Tim and Bill and so I've seen a lot of Olympia head judges and actually going to Hawaii I will be seeing a judge I've never seen before or I should say who has never seen me before um, named Steve. So all have no clue if like I'm the body type that he likes or the conditioning that he likes because even within the sport different head judges like different things some will like girls to be harder some will like girls to be softer more full so you never know until you go and you see that judge what they like on you specifically or just in general so it's gonna be an experience Eric will not be going with me to Hawaii, um, but actually his mom, my mother-in-law, Roxy, is going to be tagging along. She's going to meet me out there on Saturday for my finals, and then we will tootle around together and hang out, make it a girls weekend, and we'll have some fun Saturday night and celebrate, I'm sure. And then Sunday, we'll have all day and all night to do whatever we want to do. And then Monday, we'll probably have a nice breakfast and lunch. And then we'll head to the airport and I'll get home Monday night. Monday kicks off my Thanksgiving break. And then 
Tuesday, we're taking, or I'm taking Archie to go get checked at the doctor. He's going to make puppies and we gotta make sure he's all good and healthy. And then Wednesday, we head to Reno for Thanksgiving for the whole rest of the weekend. And this year is almost freaking over. And if you know me, every weekend is planned. Every day is planned. It's hard to fit in the schedule unless we like book it, make things happen six to eight weeks out. So like I've already planned things for the new year's like in the new year, I'm excited to do some normal people things me, I never got to celebrate my dirty 30 back in September because I was in prep. My bestie's turning 30 actually on Wednesday or Thursday this week. So we already have like a dirty 30 bar crawl planned in January, some wine tasting in February, um, going to Europe in April with my husband's parents because they want us to help them get around Europe. Um, they've never been before and they're retired so it's their time to go and we're gonna help them with that. So all exciting things ahead. I'm just rambling right now but I just needed to fill you guys in that we have one more show that we need to do and it's in Hawaii so I'm pretty excited. Last time I was in Hawaii was not this July but the one before that. So it'll be a year and a half actually, a year and a half. And we went to Honolulu, Waikiki, and we went to Maui. And so going back to Honolulu and um, I'm already like, hey, what do you wanna do, mom, Roxy? Um, do you wanna like do a luau or a snorkel cruise or a booze cruise, like a sunset cocktail cruise? Or do you just want to walk around and, you know, figure it out as we go? But I'm such the planner. I'm like, I already want to, like, put things on the agenda. But she just might want it to be chill. Um, it's a little girl's vacation. I'm excited about it. And I'm excited I won't be alone either. Um, that was nice of her to come and support me and be my companion my travel buddy and Eric's gonna stay with his dad and hang out with him and watch football and yeah just have a good time so I just took my pre-workout and it is starting to itch which is a good sign we need to go hit some shoulders so I will see you later this week this is my gym makeup look. Brows, under eyes, that's it. This is a very cheap conceal it, LA color <laughs> conceal it. I just do a little under the eyes and on the chin because I have discoloration there from, I used to have um, cystic acne. So also leftover tan going on. Not all mad about that. Looks kind of okay.